Okay, so now we are going to learn, I'm going to learn, how to fill your paintball tank with a scuba tank. So I borrowed this paintball, or scuba tank from a buddy of mine, Howard, and uh, I've got my HPA, my compressed air tank. Uh, it's, only at, it's only at about 2,000 PSI because I've been testing the Protorized Max, but this will be enough for us to figure out how to do it. So, I've read the instructions, for the most part, and we're going to give this a go. Uh, so this is a, uh, a Ninja uh, scuba paintball tank fill station thing I got on Amazon for $40. Uh, I was getting great reviews, and so uh, I hope that it works. So the first thing you have to do is you got to check, make sure you have a good seal on your scuba tank, because um, that little rubber seal right there is what that's going to ride against and hold all this uh, 3,000 pound, pounds of pressure. So we're going to place it. I'm going to place it on like this. And it should seat in there up against that seal. And tighten this up. I don't think it has to be crazy tight, but it does have to seal. Um, uh, then this is your, uh, your bleed valve. The, or vent or whatever it actually vents out from here so you're supposed to be careful um, we're going to give it a little test crack to see if we're getting some air which we are so now we're going to hook up our tank and see what happens I'll uh, keep this turned over so you can see. Hopefully this does not blow up in my face and kill me because that would suck. Um, now here we go. I'm going to... Oops, wrong thing. I'm going to crack it very slowly. And it should... I just heard the valve pop in there. So I'm going to do it slowly as to not create uh, you know, too much heat. See it rising up to 3,000, rising up to 3,000. That's right at three. You could probably go more. 32. Oh, look at it going down. Put a little more in it. Cut it off there. Now to get it off, you loosen up your vent. You tighten that handle. Loosen up your vent. Bleed the pressure. Then you can take your tank off of the fill station thing. It actually has a little bit of warmth in it. And it's right up to a good 3,000 PSI. Damn, that was easy. Love it. So as long as you're uh, tighten this bleed valve back, back on, um, make sure your your valve on the scuba tank is tight. Then you can remove your fill station. Bam.